Ever since the Archbishop of Buenos Aires, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, became Pope Francis, Buenos Aires has been basking in his glory. Fans flock to the city, following his footsteps. There are even tour buses to show tourists where he used to live and work. And locals here in Vija Bajo Flores follow what he's doing in the Vatican from a distance. This poor district is located in the south of the Argentinian capital. Priest Hernan Morelli has been living here for five years. Poor districts like ours are very receptive to what the Pope says. It's the same as what he used to say here, but he wasn't so famous then. This is a great source of joy and pride. Padre Hernan wants to bring an element of solidarity and humanity into an everyday reality where conditions are particularly tough. He hopes violence can be prevented by talking and that football can deter children from turning to drugs. He and other priests like him are well respected because they practice what they preach, as does the Pope. What's new are his gestures, not the words. These simple gestures that are moving the world so much. Words are becoming actions. Before, the church was only interested in words. What used to be missing were real, concrete and visible actions. Pope Francis grew up near Vija Bajo Flores and worked here. He was also the first person to send priests into the area. Padre Hernan is making sure his work continues. He spends all his days giving advice or blessings to locals. Mass takes place in this small church. He could work in one of the city's glittering Baroque cathedrals of the city, but he prefers to stay here. Moreover, he says everyone in the area is a believer. There are few social services in the area, not much running water or electricity either. Half of the population is under 18. Many don't get much more than primary schooling. They're proud that Pope Francis is on the side of the poor. Many people are now coming running to the church, but it was always here. Now they say they want to do what the Pope is doing. They're working with us. Even officials are becoming more proactive, ensuring people get to hospital earlier. But for Anan and other local priests, it's business as usual. Their former archbishop has drawn more attention to poverty in Buenos Aires, and the work is never ending.